Now, the coronavirus pandemic is battering the United States, especially in the southern and western states, where new cases of COVID-19 are surging exponentially. While Americans scramble for health safety, experts advise people to self-quarantine and have warned about a second possible wave of infections. The number of COVID-19 cases soared to a record high in the United States. In the last 24 hours, the country reported more than 35,900 cases, taking the total figure to nearly 2.4 million. The previous single-day record was close to two months ago when the U.S. reported 34,203 new cases. The coronavirus-related fatalities is significantly on a rise across the U.S. Yesterday, 756 people succumbed to the infection, taking the total death toll to a little over 1,24,000. While experts have warned about another surge in cases, President Donald Trump has said that death count could surpass 1,50,000 mark. He also defended his statement by saying without mitigation, U.S. would have witnessed 2 million up to 4 million deaths. Now, the bulk of the new cases comes from the three states of California, Arizona and Florida. In California, the lethal virus has infected more than 7,000 people in one single day and the state is witnessing the largest ever spike with a sudden 69% rise in COVID-19 cases from the past 48 hours. Uh, just a few days ago on Monday, uh, I released our new case numbers, 4,000. 230 new cases uh, of people that were identified as positive for COVID-19 on Monday. Uh, you'll see from this chart, just in the last few days, those numbers have increased some 69 uh, percent to 7,149 individuals, over 7,000 individuals, a record number here in the state of California that have tested positive. Arizona reported 1,795 additional cases, signifying the infection's rapid spread twice as fast among other severely affected COVID-19 states. The state has emerged as a major hotspot ever since the governor lifted restrictions in mid-May, while doctors are struggling to meet ends and experts are warning that a massive surge could overwhelm the hospitals. U.S. President Donald Trump went on to hold his second rally in Phoenix City where his supporters blatantly violated social distancing norms. It's going the wrong way, and we're very close to overwhelming uh, our hospitals in terms of the number of beds and also the number of ICU beds. That's not a good place to be at all. Uh, and we're not the only state in this position. Now, for the first time, Florida is also experiencing an explosion in the number of coronavirus cases. A day earlier, the state crossed its highest single-day surge by reporting 5,511 cases. The state governor took stock of the situation and has requested people to continue practicing social distancing norms to fight the deadly virus. Texas is another southern state that is reeling under the massive pressure. The state, which decided to lift its lockdown measures in early May, is now facing double and triple the amount of new COVID-19 cases. Despite the surge, the governor of Texas has refused to reimpose lockdown measures, but has requested people to maintain social distancing norms and follow quarantine rules if one developed symptoms. The fact that we did it so quickly and with so little thought and so little planning is that now we very likely will have to close again. So long term thinking suggests if you do it correctly and you make sure that everyone plays by the rules. If that doesn't happen and we have to close again, then a lot of places that probably could have made it now won't because I can't keep doing this. Three northern states, New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, which were once the major hotspots, have made major progress in limiting the virus spread. However, with cases surging exponentially in other parts of the country, officials are urging people to stay indoors, maintain social distancing and follow all COVID-19 related protocols to fight the global pandemic.